Hello everybody, Ben Rogers here the Raptors Digest. Reacting to more crazy, absurd Kawhi Leonard news. Apparently he's willing to go to the Brooklyn Nets next season, Riker. He wants to, you know, he, he's excited about Toronto. He didn't want to play in Toronto. It's only the Lakers, the Clippers, and then, you know, he's he wants to be everywhere, Riker. He, the Nets are the new team in the equation, the yep. Brooklyn Nets. Mm-hmm. Well, it makes sense. One of the best franchises <laughs> in, in the league. Um... They've really done well to take star players and bring out the most and, you know, their potential and really see them through to a championship. Um, Word has it, his (laughs) uncle lives in Brooklyn. Um, Yeah, that area. That, to me, that has me a little shaky. I don't know why you would want to go to a franchise for your uncle. I, I think, you know, if you were to say... You know, my second cousin's best friend's sister's girlfriend's, you know, brother <laughs> lived in, you know, Atlanta. Then I would say, oh, yeah, for sure. That makes sense. Uncle, I don't see the strong <laughs> enough relationship there. So, um, well, his uncle's is like agent and stuff. So, OK. And he's been the he's been the one behind all these these crazy news. So, yeah. Well, I mean, tomorrow we'll probably hear that he wants to go, uh, you know, to New Orleans. And then he probably wants to plan mm-hmm. a, dra- a jazz trip, really. So, um, I'd say we'll also hear the reports that he's, you know, a fantastic saxophone player. Just, <laughs> you know, the rumors at this point, the rumors are just crazy. They're, they're stupid. We don't know what to believe in. Um, but you have a good take on, on what this all might mean. Yeah. Though so, the Brooklyn Nets, they're obviously that was for people that aren't familiar with the Brooklyn Nets. They've, they're awful. They've been awful the past four years. No, no one knows why that someone would want to go there. The uncle thing is a crazy take. But personally, the, these crazy rumors and Kawhi being all over the place, I think works best in Toronto's favor because he doesn't know what he wants to do, right? The It sucks, and I think one thing when Kawhi got traded, people were shook about because people thought he had his mind set on L.A., and that's something that was branded to us. But this this Nets rumors deal, it proves that Kawhi doesn't know what he wants to do. He's been all over the place, even about just the Toronto move. And this move is really Masai Ujiri betting on the city of Toronto, betting on the Toronto Raptors franchise. And we've been a top-class organization in, you know, developing players, bringing people up, making a... Masai makes phenomenal relationships with players. And the city of Toronto is amazing. You know, people, obviously, we have fans all across Canada. It's... It's definitely, you know, Charles Barkley says it best. It's it's his favorite city. It's his top two cities in the play- world. So I think Kawhi is very impressionable right now. And if we make this year, you know, the Raptors and the fan base get rally behind Kawhi, I think this, that he might stay. Yeah. No, I totally think that that's not unimaginable certainly Mm -hmm. he has the best shot of getting to the championships there's resistance from boston fans and 76ers fans but there's a compelling Mm -hmm. argument to say the raptors would continue to be the best team in the east and then would be able to dominate teams to get the championship it might be a series against boston but it's a very likely situation where if Kawhi plays then they get to the you know to the to the pinnacle will they take down golden state probably not but he's on the best team the one of the best uh fan bases uh he has the ability to get more money than any other team if he was to re-sign for a max contract all the pieces are in place really for for a good career maybe a good three four more years on the raptors i i agree 100 percent with what you just said yeah but to to take a closer look at this because you know apparently reports are saying that he's gonna talk up other other stars and try and bring them to brooklyn do you, do you see any legitimacy behind that no, at all? The Brooklyn Nets. Imagine they steal Vince Carter. They knock us out of the playoffs in 2008 or whatever in 2014. I, I'd hate the Nets even more. I have I have no sympathy for the Nets, you know, because of how they've always got the best of the Raptors. Do you see anything happening with Kawhi to the Nets at all? No. The Nets, they're just they're a very perplex, a perplexing franchise. They have not mm. a lot going on. They've had... You know, that weird bid when they got, you know, Joe Johnson and and all those guys and they did that complete rebuild new stadium. And then just as soon as they all came in and had all the, you know, that cloud around them, boom, they went back to being a team in the absolute dust. And I I don't know, they're such a weird franchise. I can't see any player in the entire league being like, I want to spend any season on the on the Brooklyn Nets. Right. That's that's a team where players go to die. Really, that's that's how I see it. That might be a bit mm. harsh, but I, I see players going there and then their careers going in the opposite direction. Well, it, it happened with Darren Williams. It happened with Joe Johnson, you mentioned. It happened with 
Paul Pierce. Well, I guess Paul Pierce had that one good with the Wizards. Good year with the Wizards after, but KG, his career died there. Yeah, the Brooklyn Nets, that's that's very perplexing. I, I don't understand it. If, you know, if let us know in the comment section if you can find anything positive. Why Kawhi would want to go to the Brooklyn Nets aside from killing the souls of Raptors fans as uh, Vince Carter did back. I guess we traded Vince, but yeah, that's that's just absurd news. Yeah, no, it's the circus continues and uh, I'll be excited to see you know what happens next word well yeah let us know in the comment section does this ner- news have you encouraged discouraged uh are you you know do you believe the news let us know and check out the twitter the instagram all that cool stuff you're the best for listening <laughs>